G'day guys, in this particular video I'm going to be showing you how to calculate moments. So in this particular problem we're asked, what is the moment of f about, question 1 is point A, and question 2 is point B. So here's our strange looking contraption, we've been given all the necessary geometries, and we've, given, and we've been given this one particular force of 30 newtons. Okay, so you'll remember that when we're dealing with moments, we need to recall the formula MO is equal to FD, right? I've done a summary video on that, so if this makes no sense, I strongly recommend you look this up, but this is the formula we're going to be using. So for question one, we're dealing with the moment about point A. So we're dealing with M A in this context, the moment about point A. And it's going to be equal to the magnitude of your force, which in this case is just 30 newtons, right? Let me clear that up. It's 30 newtons, 30 newtons. And what is D? D is always the hardest value to calculate. D is the perpendicular distance from your force vector towards your point. So in this case, it's quite simple. Your, your, your value of D in this case is literally just this distance here from this point all the way down to here, which is three meters. It's been given to us. So we times it by three meters. And of course, 30 newtons times three meters is 90 newton meters. That's the magnitude of our moment. The direction is going to be clockwise. It's going to be clockwise because as you can imagine, just using your intuition, this force will have a tendency to rotate this ob object, this rigid body about point A in the clockwise direction. Okay, so that's question one done. Question two is a little bit harder. What we're going to do is we're going to realize that we're going to use the same formula, but it's going to be the moment about point B is going to be equal to, well, it'll be the same. It's the magnitude of your force. But what is the D value? Well, it's the perpendicular distance from your force towards your point. So we, what we do is we continue our force vector like this. We continue our force vector, and then we then we realize that this value just here, this value right here, is our d value in this case. This is our d value in this case, right? And of course, we can work out from just um, the, the dimensions we've been given that this must be 3 meters minus 2 meters. This is 1 meter, okay? So we times this by 1, and that's going to be equal to 30 newton meters. Now, what's the direction? As you can imagine, this 30 newton force has a tendency to rotate um, this entire body in the clockwise direction about point B. So it is also, so it is also clockwise. So this is the answer to question one. This is the answer to question two. Hope that made sense, guys. Cheers.